All right, the market for weight loss drugs is exploded and expected to grow into a multi-billion dollar industry. Now, you've probably seen the headlines or posts on social media about these medications. Celebrities have helped build the buzz around them. You may even know someone who's taking these drugs. One estimate finds almost 42% of Americans are obese. So should weight issues be treated with medication like any other disease? Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call for us this morning with her take on these weight loss drugs. Doc, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. So there is a huge surge in patients taking weight loss drugs. Are they more effective than diet, exercise, or weight loss surgery, things we've talked about for years? I mean, it's incredible. You know, Wagovi, Ozempic, Munjaro, these are becoming household terms at this point. And there's a lot of reasons for why this is happening. I mean, first, we're in the midst of a post-pandemic weight crisis, where nearly 50% of Americans are reporting weight gain since COVID, on average 15 to 20 pounds. Also, I think as healthcare providers, we have a better understanding of obesity as a chronic medical condition. If you've been at a certain weight for over two years, you know, diet and exercise might not be enough to just get that weight off because there are hormonal changes, there are metabolic changes. And then finally, while surgery has been a good option for people with resulting in 20 to 40% of excess weight loss, these drugs are approximating nearly the same sort of results. But let's, so uh, these, that's these, why we're seeing them everywhere. Yeah, these are diabetes drugs, though, correct? And there has uh, the downside of this. Great for people that want to lose weight. They're working. We're finding out that side effects, which we'll talk about in a second, are not severe. But at the same time, these are for diabetics, diabetes drug. And there's been a shortage for people who actually have diabetes who need it for the diabetes, not the weight loss. Well, Munjaro and Ozempic are FDA approved for type 2 diabetes. Whereas Wagovi is FDA, FDA approved specifically for weight loss. And so that's defined as a BMI greater than 30 or a BMI greater than or equal to 27 with certain medical conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, even sleep apnea in some cases. All right, so let's talk about how these drugs actually work. What do they do to the body to make it lose weight? <laughs> okay, so they work on a hormone called GLP-1. And the three major actions are, first, they slow gastric emptying time. So you feel full longer during the day. They improve your insulin metabolism, so that helps with glucose levels during the day. And then finally, they work on a hormone in your brain related to hunger. So you just feel less hungry, you have less cravings. Who's eligible to take these medications, Doc? Can anybody just go and get a prescription? Well, again, if you have type two diabetes, most insurance cover, uh, companies will cover Munjaro and Ozempic and um, obesity, which is defined by your BMI, um, can be covered uh, with the drug Wagovi. But just to be clear, also, the one thing that I'm hearing about, they, they are expensive. Even if they are covered, quote unquote, it's still an expensive copay. Okay, so that's one of the major downsides here. This is not a short term drug. This is a long term or even maybe lifetime drug for people. And not all insurance companies will cover fully. It can cost patients thousands of dollars a month to and, take these medications. And I want to talk about any type of downsides or risks in taking yes. these medications. What would those be? Okay. Well, so the most common risks are nausea, vomiting, indigestion. Uh, there are also patients reporting changes in their facial appearance because you tend to lose weight in your face very quickly. So people will say, well, I'm thin, but I look like I've aged 10 years. So that's something to be very aware about. There are some rare side effects like pancreatitis, and they have seen an increase in certain thyroid tumors However, this is studies that have been done in rodents. However, you know, that's a concern and something that needs to be discussed with a healthcare provider. All right, Doc, thank you. I know some of the uh, doctors around town are calling it Ozempic face when people are describing the, what yeah, you no. about, that sullen look in their face of having lost that, uh, that excess weight and inflammation. Um, it's very interesting, and I know it's a hot-button topic right now. Uh, so thank you so much for, for uh, spreading a little knowledge here. I appreciate it, Doc. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. All righty.